A coalition of 15 African countries have welcomed China's commitment to close its domestic ivory markets by the end of 2017, saying the move signaled Beijing's goodwill in protecting Africa's elephants. The president of the African Wildlife Foundation Conservation Center, Kaddu Sebunya, welcomed Beijing's pledge to stop their domestic ivory trade in 2017, saying it will reduce demand and close the illegal markets through which criminals are known to launder illegal ivory. The ban of ivory trade is so important to us because it becomes an illegal trade. And when it becomes illegal, then China is promising to put a mechanism to make sure that there is no trade in China. There will be some, but those are going to be very, very, very few. But also, Africa needs to do the same. Something, also some things also here. Prostitution, you know, judicially, investigations, the laws need to be revised, you know, the fines need to be higher. There are things Africa need to do. However, the ban of ivory will contribute to poverty among many people because raw ivory in Beijing had tripled in the last four years, reaching an average wholesale price of 2,100 USDs per kilogram. We're excited about that. That next move, China has put a couple of things China is going to do in China uh, to help those people who have been in the ivory industry. They will become interior designers, they would be in construction, they would be doing a trade to use those skills in many, many industries in China. Africa has been losing over 30,000 elephants annually and if this business had continued, the continent would have lost all elephants, which are an economic issue because elephants help in the conservation of the environment. And I don't want to talk about this as a wildlife issue. It's an economic issue. Elephants are important to our economy. They maintain the wild places which are sources of our world. According to the Great Elephant Census of 2015, over 144,000 African elephants in the last seven years were slaughtered for ivory in Uganda, Gambia, Malawi, Kenya, Liberia, Congo, Angola, Sierra Leone, Somalia and South Sudan. This report is by Alosia Satwine for Urban TV.